Now, my day started off where every Chad's day starts off. At the shops, you know, having a little flick through the Argos catalogue, getting myself some goop. With a tier 2 workbench and some tuna, I'd already achieved everything I wanted to from the day. So I just sat back and chilled. Okay, a bit of comfort here then before the nice, scary walk home in the dark. We've got a little beacon guiding us home. After an uneventful walk home in the dark, I got home and did some upgrades to the base. I heard a guy trading all the shotgun traps of a base nearby and thought, why not go check that out? Yeah, there's so many shotgun traps at this base. I researched med just to be safe. You never know. With my eyes on the prize, I pushed. Trying to be as sneaky as possible. One down. Where's this fucking gun? Where indeed? Oh, there it was. Oh, well, at least I found the gun. I fucked that up so hard. Oh my god, I picked up my bag and didn't place it back down. Oh, that's so bad. I checked the combat logs to make myself feel better, and I did a little bit. I think he might have bled out. Maybe not, no, he would have been 10.8, okay. I made my way back, but I had to be careful. It has been. I thought one of them might still be sneaking. I guess he didn't fully drain them. Trap. Okay, this time we go back to the base and we put it back. Looks like they've still got some more blowing to do anyway. Oh, he's draining it. That's annoying that bit, but okay. What? After finally putting it back, back down to my base so I could respawn, I thought I'd go check again. Oh, he was feisty. Finessed, but now trapped like a rat. But look at the juice. 18 fucking crew, are you crazy? Never mind. Right, well, he's still stuck in there. We need to go back with a shotgun and a ladder. I never went back with a shotgun and a ladder. Just a rock and a dream. Good. Now prepare yourself for the most on-point shooting you've ever seen. Oh my god, I fucked it. I fucked it so hard. I had a free kill then. What did I just do? What did I actually just do? Just played like I normally do. Oh no. Weak. Now not able even to get close, I was losing heart. But still determined. God, you see the shit out of me, what the fuck? This was a different guy as well. Was it the nail gun? Oh no, he had a custom. Wow, okay. Good pre fire, mate. I will call. He had a custom and a boyfriend. Lucky dog. He's just the craziest. The craziest fucking, um. He can. You can only endure so much misery before you have seven report. I went back to the base that was decaying from the previous episode and found a box of stone. I'd heard someone raiding it, 
And it looks like they must have been solo and didn't have enough room. Okay, I don't know what else was in that box. Somebody just raided that. I heard it two minutes ago. They're probably going to continue raiding it as well. To avoid everyone. There's a lot of stone. That is a lot of stone. <clears throat> and what do you do when you get a juicy amount of stone? Thanks, man. That's right. I think I can. Cue the building montage. I think I think he's continuing on the raid. Right, let's go see if they carried on raiding that base. Oh yeah, raided forever. Now, one man's junk is another man's treasure. That's useful though. So I took whatever I thought would be useful for the rest of the way. Yeah man, I'm taking scraps. Okay, if I'm gonna build a base, I'm doing it at the expense of this guy. If we wanted to be really grim, we could just run over with two satchels. Thank you, strange absent raider man. As the window was on like 17 HP, two satchels should do it. I went back, used some of the peripherals, and then got my satchels and headed back over. Two satchels. I'll take three just in case. They could have used expo amber, it would already be for it, that's my only concern. Shit. Looks like I was too late. Oh, that's such a shame, bro. We were just a little bit too slow. Well, with that, somebody was taking heli. Time to hide these satchels and then go see if I can do anything with that. Looks like I might be in luck. There's quite a few people taking it. With groups everywhere, I'd have to play this really careful. Yeah, I'll go this way because they're going to hold this down. One down. And there's his boyfriend. Coating myself a new drip, I was feeling confident. I can't go to die when I do this. Oh, 
Oh my god, I just alt tabbed. I fucking alt tabbed, bro. What was that? I brought up every menu. That's so, so bad. I'll already be gone. And everything will be taken. These guys, I think these guys have clinched up like every single fight. Forever optimistic, I had to try and get something back. Maybe not. Fuck. I had to give it a go. Now this is different, dude. But you know, I went back again. Surely this could be it. This would be the moment. I knew there was more people about and I needed to hide a gun. Right, we're just gonna chuck this spare gun down here somewhere. This'll do. Gun to hit. Oh shit. You idiot, bro. An actual fucking idiot. Thank you, Mr. P2, man. I almost had an AK. These guys are really... At this point, it was time to give up. I found a base nearby that I thought I could jump into. This looks like it can be kind of promising. I can't tell if it's just like unfinished or if it's actually decaying. Things are looking good so far. Apart from the 16 HP... And the P2 turret? Oh well, let's give it a go. I don't really understand why that just killed 16 HP. After this, I went and recycled some components from my base and then decided to gamble it all away. In one go. After that, I farmed the road quickly, got some more scrap, and then showed the gambit how it's done. That's more like it. We got what we needed. The important thing. I run everything home at night. And then after this went for a final roam for the evening. And this is where I stumbled upon a couple of boys. One down. If I was going to win this, I'd have to flank my little backside off. And that's what I did. Assuming that was the guy coming back for his kit, that naked had to be put down. Don't judge me. I had him on the ropes, and now was the time to push. New fit for me. Don't mind if I do. Pretty confident I killed him, I pushed. I saw another naked, but I couldn't find the hazmat. He had to be hiding somewhere. Oh, hello. Sneaky, sneaky dog. Okay, I mean, that went better than I thought it was going to go. Hearing some boom, I thought the final raid counter for the day could be a foot. I think that's C4. I can't tell. I think that was C4. 
Might be biting off a bit more than we could chew, but... Seeing the 20 by 20 Chan Palace, I thought maybe it was more than I could chew. But I have to do something, right? Well, that's annoying, because I kind of wanted that. I should let them get a bit lower. L96. Yeah, we're not going to push that, but at least we know we caused a bit of you know, mischief. On the way home, I found the strangest little base ever with a furnace just running in the open. Hey, each their own. I'm not going to tell you how to play Rust, man. Um, I mean, okay. And with that, another day had come to an end. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Check out the previous episode if you haven't already. And I'll see you in a couple of days. Join the Discord. Here's some more video. Much love.